So guys, let's take a look at this question on distance time graphs. So it says, the graph below shows a distance time graph for 50 seconds of a bicycle ride. The gradient of the distance time graph gives the speed of the bicycle. Determine the speed of the bicycle. So they've told us, as we've learned already, the gradient on a distance time graph is the speed of the object. So here, we're going to have to calculate the gradient to give us the speed in the answer here. What I like to do is show the points that I'm referring to when I calculate the gradient on my graph. And because it's a straight line graph, you want to use as much of that gradient as possible. So I'm going to use the entire thing. So our second point is going to be from the top there in the top corner. And we're going to go all the way to the start of the line. And it's an easy reference point because it's at the origin, zero, zero. So the top point here, you can see it reaches a value of 250 and the time is 50 seconds. So we know the y value is 250, the x value is 50, and initially it's zero, zero. So if I'm calculating the gradient, I'll put gradient equals, and then from maths you may remember it, but it's change in y over change in x. Now the change in y, or in this case the y-axis, referring to the distance, we can see the change in the distance is from 250 to zero. So I'm gonna put 250 minus zero at the top, and on the bottom, we can see that the time goes from 50 to zero. So in the same way, we're going to do the change in time, that's 50 minus zero. So 250 minus zero equals 250, and 50 minus zero equals 50, 250 divided by 50 gives us a value of five. And we know that the gradient gives us speed, so therefore the units for this are meters per second. So our answer is simply five meters per second.